All right, Illini fans, Kofi has made his decision, and his decision is to leave Illinois. So if you want to read this, go ahead, but it's really a waste of time. So entering into the NBA draft, so did Trent Frazier. Why? Why not? You got nothing to lose. You know you're not going to get drafted. But you got nothing better to do, so you might as well. Uh, just like Trent Frazier, uh, Kofi has no chance at the NBA. They have nothing to offer the NBA. Kofi, he can't pass. He can't rebound. He can't play great defense or even good defense. Doesn't block shots. Has nothing offensively to offer. Has nothing. So, yeah, this is nothing personal. This is not about Kofi the man. This is about Kofi as the player. Now, remember, college basketball is completely different than the NBA. Just like college football is completely different than NFL. You can be the player of the year in college. And never even get a chance to make it in the next level. So don't think because somebody puts you on an All-American team in college. That translates to you being in the NBA. It doesn't. Completely two different things. So should he have came back? I'm, I'm split. If he comes back, the offense is the same old offense we've been seeing, and I hate it. But he is a big guy in college basketball, so maybe Brad could have found a way to run a different offense. On the other hand, he's gone. Now we will definitely have a different offense, and that's exciting. So let me know in the comments. How do you feel about this? Are you happy he's leaving? Do you wish he would stay? Um, Honestly, either way, I'm good. So no chance at the NBA. Like I said, there's nothing about his game that the NBA wants. And it's his fault, too. Kofi had three seasons to learn how to pass out of a double team. He didn't do it. He had three seasons to learn some post moves. Didn't do it. He had three seasons to build up some athleticism, to build up some explosion. He didn't do it. For three seasons, he he, he had a chance to learn how to rebound. He didn't do it. For three seasons, he, he had a chance to learn how to play defense. He didn't do it. He didn't learn how to block shots. He didn't learn a little short jumper. He didn't learn anything. He's the same basketball player today as he was as a freshman, basically. You cannot point to one single thing in his game that he has added to his game since he's been here. Not one thing. You cannot name one thing that will translate to the NBA. Not one. So don't even bother thinking of it. So he's gone. He's out of here. Uh, A lot of people on Twitter um, wishing him the best. That's nice. And um, I'll tell you this. A lot of people saying it's the end of an era. Io, Kofi, Andre, end of an era. And on Twitter, I said, yes, it is the end of an era. An end of an era that had us lose, getting blown out in the second round of a tournament two years in a row. A lot of people, well, not a lot, everyone on Twitter but me, goes on Twitter. They fail to mention that the Illini have been blown out in the second round of the tournament two years in a row. That's the history. Those are the facts. So all this talk about how great someone did and all this blah, blah, blah. 
the tournament tells a different story. The tournament says two blowouts in a row in the second round. That's the reality. We need players that are not going to lose in the second round of the tournament. We need players who are going to advance in the tournament. Kofi, unable to do it in his three seasons. Io wasn't able to do it when he had his one chance. I wish he would have came back, but I understand. He's a Chicago Bull, so it worked out great. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, he's gone. He's out of here. Um, let me know how you guys feel about that.